And here we are back at it again. So, last session was kind of a disaster. So what we're going to do, since that level's pretty short, we are going to go through it one more time. But we're going to do it in a way that's like fun this time. So. Because I just, I just really want that challenge. All right. Okay. And plus, I'm really tired of playing this damn level. And so I want to do anything that would make it easier on me. So let's go. Well, and I wasted my blood punch once again. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Just using my BF2 whenever I want now, I guess. Alright, we're gonna speedrun this. Oh, oh my, hello. I'm feeling pretty good. I've, um. Damn it. Oh my, this is just like last time. I'm feeling pretty good. I, um, got a lot of shopping today. I'm mean, kind of going more for like a, uh, like a plant, plant based diet. And, you know, it's pretty good actually. So I just put the sprouts, which is like a pretty divine, like plant restaurant. Pretty divine plant restaurant. I was wondering where that spark, where that sparkling down there is, but it's just me with my uh, my Uncle Sam outfit. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I don't need to change on anyone. I don't know why I did that. Oh well. It's still kind of an instinct for me. Pretty, pretty nice. I can just use my BFG wherever I want. Yeah, I need to just. I think I need to chill out when I'm playing this game. I just need to have a little fun with it, even though fun has been kind of a foreign concept to me for a while. Sooner I get done with this, like, Necroball thing, the happier I'll be. Determines mystery against the soul extraction process. The 
Oh, even the oh even the flamethrower is uh, unlimited. It's pretty cool. Ah, and the grenades. Let's freaking go. All right, please. Now we have this arena to do one more time. Wait, I have BFC but better. I can just... What are you doing? Stop. My cat was chewing on a piece of plastic. And that's no good. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's easy.
trying to decide if I want to do the ancient gods or not. I'm kind of a little tired of Doom Eternal. Oh, I thought for sure that was going to get him. Well. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, wow, he's strong. Bro, come on. Thank you. All right. I can't wait to move on with my life. Okay, as I was saying, I'm not sure if I want to do ancient gods or not, because those are good, but I'm getting a little hot and tired of Doom Eternal, kind of, in a way. Now I'll move on to a new type of game. Maybe I'll move, maybe I'll get the Ancient Gods later. Alright. We're not messing around this time. I could be. It's time, it's time. Okay, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to do this. Alright, just make it as easy as possible because I would kind of overcomplicate it a little too much. So it's a, it's a left side, right? Okay. Come on, come on. Did I do it? No, that, that was the right side. Okay, I have to freaking do it. Okay. That was fun. Okay, whatever. I can move on from that nightmare. So happy. I'm so happy actually. All right. Okay. My cat came to the trash, so I think it needs to be fed. Be right back. All right. Now that that's done, we can move on to actual real content <sighs> part two of Necroval uh, kill more than one enemy that's easy a back kill 
a left side. I'm like, I hate, like, <laughs> the glory kills that involve, like, different directions sometimes. Yes, sir. This is a bounce pad here, yep. Made in a mastery token. I think there's much I care about. Why would the lock on? That seems like relatively the most useful one. Even though Doom kind of, Doom 2016 kind of struggled with it too, but a lot of the upgrades don't feel particularly useful. But you know, what can you do? I have no idea what's in store for me here, but... And I'm right below him, that's so cool. My controller is low, so that's cool. I never really got super far in the uh, nightmare mode. I'm not sure if I want to give it a try. But I remember one time I got, I did like the extra life mode where I was uh, super late into the game and then I died in one of the final encounters. And I'm like, yeah. Never playing that again. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess out of these options, I'll choose this one. Ah, we did it. We got the last um, Chaos Emerald. You, you people are made to suffer. Process, Process of souls for the con maker's world. I assure you, this, this could have been avoided with different. Hayden, you're being kind of a freak lately.
Doom Hunter again. I guess, wait, do I still have the runes I don't want? Uh, yeah, I sure do. Alright, now we're good. Miss uh, the overdrive. Oh well. Hello, cat. Thank you for not eating the trash anymore. I'm sorry I apparently starved you to death. I will never let that happen again, young man. See what's the door for us here. Yeah, I guess um, the Game Awards uh, were announced today. I don't know why I skipped that. That was an accident, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess the Game Awards were today, um, or, or rather announced today. I uh, really haven't played... But the really lonely like game of the year noms I nominated were uh, Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. That's really about it. It's pretty sad. That was sick. And Archville once again. I simply refuse to fight you. Oh, hello, Mr. Marauder. Dude, 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 dude. Here. Ah, I didn't even do that, but it feels so good. Yeah, um, I didn't really get, I don't remember all the nominees, obviously, but I know there was a game of the year included, Here's the Kingdom, Alan Wake 2, 
of Mario Wonder. Um, Resident Evil 4, Baldur's Gate 3, and Spider-Man 2, which you know. Ah, and it's a pretty good list. No love for WarioWare, as far as I know. Which is sad, so, so sad. Where the hell am I going? Over there. Um, yeah, I haven't played very many games this year, sadly. I really want to get uh, that new RoboCop game. I want to know what it feels like to be a RoboCop. Though I have a, I have a pretty decent understanding of what it would, would mean to be RoboCop based on the first movie. I wasn't really like a huge fan of the uh, the sequels. It just kind of felt a little too uh, franchised to me. Where am I going? Oh, there you go. I think it's just kind of the franchisification of um, RoboCop. Where it was kind of like a commentary on like, um, like a lethal police force, the industrialization of law, or the, the militarization of law. Um, but then the sequel just be, may, be turned the series into like a big action set piece, it's a big action franchise. But, that being said, RoboCop game does look pretty fun. I know this fighting game, I, the only three I recognize are Mortal Kombat 1, Street Fighter 6, and Nick All-Stars 2. And, you know, I have my relationship with Mortal Kombat. For every year, I'm really excited. Oh, I'm really excited for new Mortal Kombat. But when it, they actually come out and they are the way they are, you know, I get a little hot and sweaty sometimes just thinking about them. The so Street Fighter 6, that's... If, that, if Mortal Kombat wins over uh, Street Fighter, that'll be very, very, very sad. And they are really hiding these things super well. Nickelodeon Star 2 is kind of neat to see best finding game. Um, not gonna win. It would be really funny if it did. Uh, you know, don't think it will. That'd be the butt. Freaking died. I haven't gotten a single challenge yet. I'm coming close to the uh, the blood punch one.
I'm kind of interested in Nick All-Stars, but okay, that was cool. I'm kind of interested in Nick All-Stars, but um, mostly just for LT Grey, honestly. I'm glad my boy is in that game. The so Nick All-Stars, the, the, both the first and second one have weird, like, problems in regards to, like, how they reference things. Like, uh, I don't know the best way to get rid of these guys. I think I can just shoot them like normal. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Both are weird in regards to how they decide to, like, reference things. Like, I know Squidward Super, like, Final Smash, whatever. It's a reference to Anthem Squidward, like that meme. Hugh Neutron in the first game had a reference to when he was in a motorcycle, which, you know, it's a reference to, like, a fight, like, a five second moment in a single episode of Jimmy Neutron. Spongebob's one of Spongebob's taunts is like an emote. It's really weird stuff like that. It's like, I get it, but, you know, I don't have to like it, per se. And even some of the weird, even some of the characters they get are very weird. Like, how we had, like, three K. Arnold characters without a Arnold. Which is a Oh god, okay, well. Shit. Okay, that's whatever, I don't even care. Nope, don't do the boogie of the I think I can just Oh I did it. Okay, back, backside, right? Backside, backside. Yes. Sick. Okay. And what was it? <gasps> Archville. How did I forget? How did I not realize? Okay, hopefully there's an Archville around here. That will be really unfortunate. If Nashville doesn't come, I'm just I'm probably not gonna worry about it. I don't really care. Oh my god, I'm so sick of these freaking Doom Slayers, Doom Hunters, whatever. Yeah, I miss the Archville. Oh well. I wasn't really paying attention. Honestly, I thought that was like said Arachnatron or something. Alright, this uh went way better than on my last last couple sessions so yeah doom eternal is fun again i'm pleased to announce
All right. Uh, damn it! I don't feel like going out to get more collectibles, but I must. Well, at least there's two right here right off the bat. All right, where the heck's the other one? We're over there. How did I miss you? What the heck? Okay. Flesh and metal, I guess. All right. We did it. Kind of. We missed another challenge, but... Whatever. Not gonna... Cry about it again. There we go. There we go. We did it. Doom Eternal is good again. What do you know? 